Matt Dam, I'm just going to start off by letting you know that, that I am not conducting an, an internal investigation on you. Okay? okay. So Garrity is not implied. Okay. Okay, I want you to understand that, all right? Okay. All right, Garrity does not imply that this incident, okay? Can you fully explain what that? I understand part of it. Just... She's going to read, she's going to read you Miranda. Okay. So I just want to let you know that we're not, I'm not conducting, I know I do IAs, but this yeah. is not an IA, this is a reference to a criminal investigation, okay? Okay. What's that in reference to? It's in reference to, you remember the um, statement you wrote me about Jessica saying you took items from the house? Yeah, the computer, yeah. That's what it's going to be a reference to. Okay. So what's the time? 1722. How old are you, Matthew? 21. <coughs> What's your current address? Uh, 130 LeMay Road. Spell that for me. L-O-U-M-A-E. Is that Griffin? Yes, man. It's Calvin. And what's the last grade you completed in school? I uh, graduated high school. Okay. Yeah, college. All right. Well, this is the way, uh, Miranda waiver. We'll read everybody before we talk to them. Mm -hmm. I just got today's date is 727 to 17, the time is 1722. We're in CID. Your name is Matthew Boynton. Uh, you're age 21. You live at 130 Lumay Road, Griffin. Uh, you completed the 12th grade school. And that you know that myself, Kay Yancey, and Jay Hayes are officers with the Griffin Police Department. And we're going to advise you that you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Anything I say can be used against me in a court of law. Do you understand that? I have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a president with me while I'm being questioned. Do you understand that? If I cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent me before any question if I wish. Do you understand that? I can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? It says I understand my rights and having these rights in mind, I'm now willing to talk about items that belong to Jessica. Uh, I've not been threatened. I've not been promised anything. I've not been forced in any way to answer any questions or make any statements. Okay? If you want to talk to us, just sign right there. So Jessica came in, she filed a report, um, okay. I talked to you about it, uh, you wrote a statement saying you didn't have any of her items, uh, right. the report specifically said her retainer and stuff like that, her clothes. Okay. Um, do you know anything about where her clothes or retainer may have been? Like I told her before, the only thing that we might have had would have been in that white trailer and my stepdad has not mentioned anything else being in there. And we gave everything back that we had. Cause she had put some stuff in like a, uh, it's like a little foot chase thing. Mm -hmm. Got it up. It's got two little boxes. I think we used to use it for like diapers and stuff now, but I mean, everything that she had that I knew of was gone. I got rid of everything I knew of. And you got rid of a house, so. To get either go back to her or her family came back and got it. You know, like she had a big kitchen table and some other stuff that her Aunt Kathy and Uncle Tim would come and got. Um, just different. I think my stepdad actually took a whole bunch of stuff over to her grandparents' house at 2464 East Milner mm -hmm. in Pike, which is like right by my parents' house. Okay. So when did you move to Lou May Road? Uh, that would be sometime in March. March? Mm -hmm. um, through the course of that move, did you find anything that belonged to her at that no. point? No, because if I would have, I would have turned it over to her because I had no need to keep her stuff. The only thing I had at that point was that computer, and me and you had talked about that and got it back to her. Mm -hmm. Cause she could let her talk to Bird. Okay. So. You recognize that bag? Yes, yeah, a bag that Jessica let me use to put all my gym stuff in when we, we used to be together. Okay. So when's the last time you saw that bag? Uh, it's been a long time. Like I said, I, when I used to work out at, um, there's two gyms in Thomaston, 
I don't remember the name of it. I used that one, and I had a uh, gray Nike bag I used to work out in. Um, so I ended up changing my stuff like protein drinks, um, powder shakes like pre-workout, uh, workout shorts, pants, shoes, whatever. I put it in that bag or my Nike bag. So when's the last time you saw that bag? I mean, it's been a while. I don't, I don't know the exact date. I don't know. Um, I think my stepdad, he he had it in the I think the white trailer, and that that's been a while. And he brought it, but I haven't been through it or anything. Um, he put it in my storage, put it in my storage thing in my house, which is like when you pull in the driveway. Mm -hmm. It's a little storage thing on the right. You open the door and it's got all my stuff in there. I had to clean that some of it out recently. That was tossed in there, but I mean, it's in there with a bunch of my stuff, like a brown sun base to keep in my old patrol car with gym mm -hmm. stuff in it and work stuff. Would that be the utility room, my carport room, at your new house? Yeah, yeah, that's where I keep like, or I, well, I keep stuff in that, and I keep stuff in like what's considered an office and left the back of my house. Mm -hmm. so, I just tossed in there for the rest of my job. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's just old gym bag. All right, Matthew. Look, let's see. Let's see the phone. Let's see the phone. Known you a long time. Yes, sir. This bag, you saw it moving. When you moved from your apartment to the main road. I didn't know. And, and, and your stepdad, and Wendell. Wendell saw it. And another female saw it. All right? Okay. At the house, in the apartments. Yes or no? When you um, moved from the apartment. When I, when I moved, like I said, I had all my stuff in the white trailer. Man, that's, that's, not, that's not what I'm asking you. When y'all were in the process of moving, and you moved into the house that you're at now, your residence. Did you or did you not see this bag? Yes, sir. It was in my storage room in the, in the garage. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, why would I be holding a picture of this bag? I guess because Jessica brought it into you. Why would Jessica have it if you had it at your house? Um, I don't know. I guess somebody got it from my garage and <clears throat> my shed. And Who would have gotten it? Um, there's a couple of people. Okay. I don't know. All right. Exactly who. Okay. And inside that bag, there were numerous contents inside of it. And one of those is this right here. You know what this is? It's like Jessica's old retainer thing. Mm -hmm. She had them wear together. Right. The bag was completely filled with female clothes. And this is one photo of it. That's not yours. No. Not. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. That's not yours. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Who does that belong to? This guy, Jessica's name, wants to be Jessica's retainer thing. <sighs> if it was in that, if it was in this right here, where would that have been at? I had all her stuff in it. My, what would it have been at? It would have been in my the garage thing, like I said. Which is where? Which is at my house. Which is at your house. Yes, sir. Did you buy that for Jessica? I don't recall. I don't think I did. Because she had... I think her grandparents did. Because she had retainers before she met you, right? Before y'all got married, right? I believe so. So that would make it whose property? Uh, hers. Not yours, right? Right. Yes, sir. Whose bag is that? Uh, Jessica's. And the contents in the bag? And it's got all her stuff in it. So why would you not have brought that to us when you noticed, when you saw the bag at moving? Sarge, I promise I've not been through that bag. The last time I used Matthew, that bag I was finished. I didn't ask you that, Matthew. Listen to me, buddy. Who's bag is this? I understand what you're saying. It's just because I should have brought it up here. You know, Makes all sense. things, and I don't know anything about your other issue, but all things involved in reference to this case, 
all the going around, the statement that you wrote. Where's the statement at? The statement that you wrote. The same statement. I didn't read the statement. I don't know what the statement said. What did it say? It's just very brief. I gave Jessica a property like I gave her a computer and everything. Right. Yes, sir. Whose is this bag? It's Jessica's. I just didn't think about it because I used it as a gym bag and she let me use it. I understand what you're saying. Matthew, a police officer. Yes, sir. I understand. You're a police officer, Matthew. You know we are held to a higher standard than anybody else. I understand. You know people don't, don't, don't expect us to make mistakes. They don't realize we're human. I understand that. You understand that. I shouldn't have swore about it. You work out a lot, don't you? You stay in shape. You're in good shape, right? Trust me. You have two bags. Did you swap your stuff in between? Yeah, I don't have the other one anymore. This would have been your only gym bag. So how would you not know the contents of the bag? It just was your gym bag. I have no excuse. Like you said, I should have thought about it and brought it up here. That's like having two cars. Yes, sir. If you use two cars and you get in the other one and it's out of gas, then you're not knowing it's out of gas. You're right. Because you use two cars, right? Yes, sir. If you were using this, being slap full, when I say it was slap full, I mean it was, I want to say, just a guess, there were probably 30 or 40 articles of clothing in it. You would have known. I mean, it almost looked like when whoever packed this bag had packed this bag to move. Yes, sir. This is Matthew Boynton, January 9, 2017. I was advised to complete the statement on the previous day by Lieutenant Yancey. Jessica Lester, Dash Boynton's property, was already previously returned to her by my stepdad, Charles McDaniel, Jr. Shortly after Jessica got out of this hospital, the dining room table, along with other items, were picked up by Kathy Zellner for Jessica. The remaining items, such as Hope Chess clothing and other miscellaneous items, were returned to Jessica. I do not have any other items of Jessica's. This is Matthew Boynton. Is that your statement? Yes, sir. What is that, Matthew? That's Jessica's bag. Jessica's retainer. Do you understand you didn't buy that? I understand. That does not make it community property. I understand. That makes it her property. Yes, sir. That you're in possession of. Yes, sir. I understand. The bag was turned into us. We have possession of the bag. Yes, sir. We have evidence <coughs> that said it came out of your storage room. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is there anything you'd like to say? No, sir. I said I was just done with my part. Do you believe? Do you believe that statement to be accurate and true? Not now. Did you believe it then? No, sir. Can you order something, Matthew? You sure? Yes, sir. I'll get some right here. Thank you. I'll be right back.
to smoke a cigarette. You good? Man, do that one. I'm walking around outside. Why would you say you didn't have the damn bag when you had it? You know you can't give a sworn statement and lie on it. I know, so. Why would you do that, Matthew? Uh, it was a bag, man. It wasn't. It's not like it was. Talk to me, man. I mean, help me understand. I'm sorry, I swear to God, I know it's, I know it's hard to believe, but I didn't think about that bag. Otherwise, I wouldn't have broke, I wouldn't have I said, hold on, LT. I got something, let me go get it. I swear, I wouldn't have done that. Because I've got two kids, three and one. I wouldn't jeopardize that over a bag. If, I'm telling you, sorry. If I would have thought about it then, I would have said something. But you knew you had I the bag. And I, Did you not I know you had the bag? I'm sorry, I, my mind's right. I don't, I fucked up. I should have turned it in, but not only because I'm a cop, because I shouldn't have, because it's just, because even if she don't use it, it's it was the right thing to do, man. I'm clear. Yes, sir. If I, you know, if I would have thought about it then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have messed up and been in this position because of my kids. But why didn't you turn the bag in when you damn moved? Because I was thinking, too, because I was thinking then. Did you think he was going to get in trouble if you turned it in late? I, I guess. I don't know what I was going through. Never mind. What do you think should happen now? No, that's probably going to happen. No, that's not what I asked you. So what do you think should happen? I just <laughs> Kids are fucking daddy's boys, man. <laughs> if I would have thought about it, I would have done it. Of all, of all the stuff that you, you see about you, you know if you were in possession of something that belonged to her, you know you should have, you could have brought it to me. You know I'm going to do the right thing, you know I have to do the right thing. I would have took care of it, I would have gotten the bag back to her. But when you knew you had the bag and you didn't do anything about it, man, you put me in a situation where I got I don't have any other choice. I'm clear. I'm clear. There's no excuse for it. Here. I know it's got that on there. I know. I, I it's, just, it's so hard, like well, okay. I, I love working here. I know you and do. And I I'm so, asked you, I was so scared to come to work every day. Why? Because every time I did. Yeah, you know, it was always eleven seventy nine or ten twenty two to forty two come up here. I mean, it's always something. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I thought if I brought it up here, I was gonna get fired and whatever. I, mean, I don't know. I'm so young. And so, but man. Matthew, you know, doing the right thing, regardless, it doesn't matter. If you do the right thing, you can live with yourself. Nine times out of ten, I, I do. I mean, that's the way I was raised. But you, you know that. You know that you have to do the right thing. And when you found, even if, if you found the bag, you should have said, hey, hey, LT, hey, Sar, hey, whoever. I got something, man. Stop for a minute and talk to me. I don't know what I was thinking then. I don't know if it's because I was scared. I mean, I, I, come, I told you, I come to work every day scared. I, there's no excuse. I'm not trying to make one for myself. I know I'm obviously not employed anymore. I just like the only thing I can think about now is my kids, man. My kids, daddy's boys. You know, the baby is actually. I took him in like he's my own. And I'm not setting a good example right now. I always try to show my kids what's right. But you know, when you when you swear an oath, we swear that we're going to uphold the law. Yes, sir. Regardless, and you know you can't lie. To, you can't lie in an investigation. You know that. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I don't know if I was scared or what. I don't know what was going through my mind then. Does that make it right? No, it doesn't. I know that. I know this is everything I've ever worked for, like out the door. I'm being concerned with my kids, man. Because I've got 
I've got primary custody over him, and this is gonna set me back if I get locked up for this. I'm gonna go down to see him every other weekend. And she's not gonna take care of him like she's supposed to. Like she's supposed to put him on her insurance. But, I had to do that. But Matthew, if you did I'm what a, you were supposed to do, we would not be here in this situation. You think I want to be here? No, sir. I would be rather be anywhere else than be here. Clear. But if you had done what you were supposed to do, we would not even have to be having this conversation. You would have to worry about it. Yes, sir. But you know that we have to do, we have to do the right thing. We have to do what people pay us to do. You know that. You know that, especially with me and Lieutenant Yancey. You've known us a long time. Yeah. I, just, I don't want to lose the, the primary custody of my kids. Like, I know, I mean, no matter where I go now, I'm not really going to get a good job now, but like, the, the main focus is my kids, man. Life is not over with. Everything happens for a reason. Just hang tight, okay?